Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Gary. And this is The Truth in Black and White. Hi, everybody. We're back with another installation of The Truth in Black and White. And the first two videos we did were titled Leadership, and we did another one called The Queen of Heaven. And what we're going to talk about today, just to give it a title, was going to be religion and politics, which we see as the two things that people, when you get together in a family gathering, generally, are the two things that nobody wants to talk about, religion and politics. We're just trying to be flatlined right down the middle of the road in our presentation, just bringing discussions to people to try to shed light on what's happening in the world. And you've got these two vying powers, religion and politics. And, you know, we're coming from the Bible. Our, our mainstay, our foundation is the Bible and truth. And somebody has to be able to come to the knowledge of the truth in, in the right spirit, which is the spirit of the Lord, and bring forth the message of good news to, to the people to deliver them from these, these evil powers, religion and politics being the two main powers that, that are buying for people's minds, and, and to, to bring the truth to set people free and, and to come into a life of peace and, and happiness. There's nothing wrong with love and joy and peace and, and the, the nature of God. There's nothing wrong with it, but yet why would anybody fight against somebody that's bringing a, a good message, which is what the gospel is, is a good message. You know, some people talk about it in terms of good news, and I don't think the Bible even really says that, good news verbatim, but that's generally what the gospel has been uh, brought forth as, is good news. And I heard somebody say, recently that it was like news is something that you've never really heard before. It's something that's new. And the, the strange thing about it, you try to figure out how the gospel fits into the, the world at large as news, but yet everybody's heard, at least, you know, multitudes and multitudes of people have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. So what's different about today? What are, what are the things that we're looking at in real life that would cause anybody to pause for a minute and say, look, what, there's got to be something different. There's got to be some something new about to come forth that's not the same old stuff. If you look at it, um, if you look at the last week, if today is October the 5th, 2008, and uh, we've experienced in the last week uh, basically a political blowout with this bailout of Wall Street which they're trying to make everybody believe is also a bill out of Main Street, but you and I both know that uh, Main Street is not going to be bailed out by the uh, billions of dollars that have been transferred over to Wall Street. Politics and religion, working hand in hand basically to keep the people enslaved. We've got a, um, a religious system that's brainwashing billions of people globally. And making folks believe that there's some hope down here when in fact the kingdom of God is all about a kingdom that comes without observation that's a spiritual kingdom that's governed by Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit with God the Father as the ruling pontitate over that kingdom. And an earthly uh, kingdom is not what we're after here. <clears throat> if you look around the news, you see a lot of religious leaders actually forsake the gospel in favor of politics. Uh, John Hagee and uh, a lot of these other guys, Jim Dobson and all these guys, they, they lean toward political favors and they lean toward being accepted by the Republican Party and they basically cast aside all truths of the Bible in order to fit in with politics. This is the marrying together of what we see in the Bible that's called the beast system and the, and the horror of Babylon as found in Revelation chapter 17 and 18 you find out this is a mystery Babylonian system that's made up of religious people who associate with the governmental systems. And this is what we're fighting against. And this, this is what really hates true Christianity and hates Jesus Christ. Right now, we look at the political structure in this country. You've got people like uh, Barack Obama, who's running for president. He is actually uh, promoting and he's standing in line with home, the homosexual agenda. He is a uh, supporter of uh, 
of abortion rights, which is basically murder in the first degree of the unborn. And then you've got the uh, right wing uh, self-righteous promotion of God being equal to country. Basically, the Republican Party and conservatism makes God equal with country in that, the, that America is actually God and not the God of heaven. You know, so there's a lot of uh, sympathy with the American system and the United States as a whole being the moral equivalent of God and actually the arm of God to go to war for God and to go out and conduct things for God and, and George Bush goes to fight a righteous war and Sarah Palin says that God says, you know, we should go out and fight against the enemies of God over in Iraq. You know, all this stuff is nothing more than the brainwashing of, uh, of political religious people trying to promote themselves and use God's name in vain to do so. But I believe down here there is a remnant of people who are not buying any of it. Right. We're not a Democrat nor Republic Republican. We're not uh, a liberal nor are we conservative. Uh, we're not black, neither are we white. That's why this is the truth in black and white. We don't deal with race. We don't deal with religious structure. We don't deal with governmental authority here. We're talking about Jesus Christ who is not of this world. He said, plainly, my kingdom is not of this world. Right. So we're not trying to get you associated with and affiliated with anything. Right. Folks want to ask us a lot of times, what church do you belong to? What doctrine do you espouse? Well, who, what are you of? Who are you of? Look, listen. Get your mind renewed. Get your mind refocused and reformatted to just accept the Bible and the truth of the Bible. Take it like it, 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 it is given to you and believe what it says. And stop trying to belong to something. Right. We keep trying to define each other by what we belong to or what race or culture we come from. And that's not going to get you to Jesus Christ. That's the funny thing about people talking about religion and making fun of religion. Like, um, what's his name, Bill Mayer, just this weekend came out with this movie called Re Religulous, which is a word he made up, which is basically saying that religion is ridiculous. Now, there's a lot of things that this guy says that are true. Now, don't get offended if, if you hear me saying that and because the guy... He needs to be saved just like anybody else. He needs salvation like anybody else. But yet, he espouses all these opinions about what he thinks of religion and what it's doing to people. And a lot of it's true what he says. And he even, and people like him, they, they don't come right out and say, I don't believe in God. He actually says, I believe that there's a God. I believe in, in God, basically. But the rebellious nature of people is not to want to obey God. We, what we really believe in is the God of our own minds when we're basically without salvation, when we're outside of the will of God the Father of Jesus Christ. We're basically serving our own minds and we think we are gods. That was the lie that was fed to humans by Satan as he was self-deceived and he wants to worship. So he inhabits the people of the planet to basically carry out his will which is to worship him we worship ourselves and our minds and our opinions and everything but it's like this whole religious realm is so is so phony and hypocritical and, and people know that people people like bill mayer know that it's all silly but yet you can't the, the one thing you can't get away from is why do they always point to jesus christ they always got to think about jesus christ they always talk about you know, they, they'll use Jesus Christ. They'll say, you know, as they're cursing about something, they'll say, Jesus Christ. Why, why don't they just say, you know, Muhammad or Buddha? What is this thing about Jesus that they're always just... They just don't, there's something about Jesus Christ that they don't like. 